All right, so the uh, final presentation of this session uh, will be side channel attacks on post-quantum signature schemes based on multivariate quadratic equations. Um, this is work by Aizen Park, who will be presenting, uh, Kung An Shim, Naham Ku, and Dung Gak Han. And if anyone's coming in, again, there are still seats at the front, so please come up around. Um, but with that, we'll pass it over to Aizen. Yeah, thank you for your introduction. Hi, everyone. I'm Aizen Park from Kungmin University. I'm so glad to talk in chess. Today, I will talk about the side channel vulnerability on UOV variants. This is joint work with the NIMS. In 1999, UOV has been proposed in Eurocrypt, and then in 2005, General Rainbow, which is a layered MQ signature scheme based on UOV, has been proposed, proposed to improve efficiency and reduce the key sizes. Uh, since the study on efficiency software imp implementation was proposed in 2006, there have been many studies on efficient implementation in hardware and software. In CHESS 2012, CPEC error demonstrated the feasibility of MQ signature scheme on an 8-bit ABR microprocessor. They removed the constant, constant part of linear maps and applied linear maps like this picture uh, to reduce the key, key space and run time. I call this shape uh, chess form in, in this presentation. Uh, in 2017, BLN's error proposed a repeated UOV for smaller UOV public key. It uses the, uses the T chess form. After Paul Kutcher proposed the methods of finding keys using time and power and so on, power analysis has been carried out um, for many crypto algorithms. It is not surprising that impl implementation of first quantum algorithms are vulnerable to power analysis. Therefore, many studies for power analysis analysis of vulnerability of post-quantum cryptography have been studied. However, uh, the studies of power analysis against the UOV variance lag. There is only one result exact hours. In 2017, ERO recovered the central map F on ENTTS uh, using a fault analysis. There is no attack using only power analysis. Today, I will introduce non-invisible attacks against Rainbow and UOV. Here, I will briefly explain the signature, signature generation on, on Rainbow. There are three secret maps, S, F, and T. Signature generation consists of three steps. The first step is to perform an inversion linear map of the input message. Uh, at this step, a matrix vector product over a field is used. The second step is to invert central map F with the transformed messages. At this step, random values are used and linear equations are solved. The last one is to apply an inversion of the other linear map. It also uses uses a matrix vector product over a field. Rainbow uses field multiplications and additions as the basic operations. As I mentioned, uh, the second step uses random values. Because of this, Rainbow generates a different, different signature for the same message. This picture leads to difficulty in power analysis. Uh, power analysis uh, generally uses the position where the fixed secret value and the random public value are computed. So, in first step, power analysis is easily applied. However, in the calculation of F, unknown random values are used. Therefore, the power analysis cannot be easy because the intermediate value of t can't be calculated. 
However, the methods of efficiency, efficiency can be vulnerable to power analysis. Our goal is to recover the secret maps of the rainbow and UV only using CPA, correlation power analysis, and algebraic key recovery attacks. We propose two attacks for easily explain. I describe three sub attacks. The first sub attack explores the general field multiplication uh, vulnerabilities. The second one is used when the linear map T has the chess form. This attack can be used for UOV as well as for rainbow. The last one is used to rainbow with random linear map T after S has been recovered. We implemented the metric vector product on a field chip 2 to the power of 8 and experiment with chip explorite, which is developed for side channel analysis by Colin. <laughs> yes, the, the algorithm used in the experiment is implemented by multiplying each loaded Y by the ith column to reduce the number of times Y loaded. Power trace, uh, traces were collected using 500 random messages. First, sub attack, this is sub attack one. CPA on the S inverse is very easy because the, the attacker can control the message. Intermediate results are chosen as the value multiplied by each element. For example, uh, guess uh, times y1 can be used used an intermediate result to recover as prime one one. Here, guess means a hypothetical key. In the same way, after recover recover as prime one one, as prime one one times y1 plus guess times y2 is used as an intermediate result to recover as prime one two. This picture shows the, shows the result of CPA for S prime one one. Uh, this picture represents the maximum correlation coefficient according to an increasing number of traces. Because the last step also uses a matrix vector product, this part can also be an attack point. However, it is hard to compute x prime, which is calculated with t, uh, because we don't know, don't know f even if s is recovered. It means, it means that to compute the, the in intermediate value is difficult. If, oh, sorry. If the rainbow or UOV is used chess form, it is possible to compute, compute, to, compute the, the intermediate value, so CPA is possible. For example, suppose we use, uh, use the T that looks like this. We can know, know the values from X prime 5 to X prime 8 because of the blue scale, that is, X prime eight equals X eight, X prime seven equals X seven, X prime six equals X six, X prime five equals X five. So uh, now we can attack the green part. Unlike S, we cannot guess the exact value because we do not know X prime three and X prime four. However, there are Positions where, where T prime IJ and X prime J are multiplied. We target these positions as an as intermediate results. Now we found we have found the green part. We can we can compute X prime three and X prime four. Uh, therefore, T uh, the T can be recovered by finding the blue part as the previous method. This picture shows can the CPA result for T prime 4, 5, 
Uh, as you can see, we could find it. Here, I will explain a brief description about the recovery of F and T using algebraic key recovery attack. We assume that S has been found and T has been used the, used the general form. Because we know S and public key P, we can compute S inverse circle P. We ran no green P is S inverse circle P and tilde T is inverse T. Green P, green P circle tilde T equals F and 13, 13 plus with zero coefficient in FK are known because, uh, because, because, we, because we have found S and rainbow has different, different central maps each layer. So we obtain the following, the following equality. We can find an equivalent key T prime with a, a high probability by solving the equations by finding V1 times O1 times O2 linear equations with O2 times V1 plus O1 variables. There are, therefore, we can make a positive signature. We could find an equivalent key using this parameter in less than one point for six milliseconds on Intel Exxon CPU. In summary, the first attack can be used when the linear map has the chess form. All of the secret key S, F, and T can be recovered by a combination of sub one and sub two. There is, after recovering the two linear maps S and T using power analysis, we recover the central map F by simple calculation with the public key P. The second one is hybrid attack, which uses CPA and algebraic key recovery attack. It can attack rainbow-like signature scheme with random linear map. Our attack can apply to other MQ signature scheme. First, LUOV, which is a submit to NIST, uses chess form, so it can be applied to our proposed attack one. Rainbow and high MQ3, which use ASA structure, and uh, they are computed over GF, GF2 to the power of N, also, so they are vulnerable, vulnerable to our attack too. To avoid our attacks, you will like single layer scheme should not use the chess form. In other words, we must use the T that is we remove the relation between the signature value and the intermediate values. Rainbow-like multi-layer schemes can be recovered all secret maps if S is recovered. Therefore, we must focus on implementing a secure matrix vector product against PA. We can use message randomization to prevent our in the first step. That is, uh, multiply all elements of a message by a random number r and perform a general matrix vector product. And then we multiply the output of the matrix vector product by the, inverse, by the inversion r. We need two times, two times m field multiplication and uh, field inversion. We also need a random number generation step. Here, m is size of the vector. This is the conclusion. Uh, we proposed CPA on rainbow UOV uh, with equivalent key in chess form. Uh, and we also proposed the hybrid attack on rainbow implementation with random linear maps using CPA and algebraic key recovery attacks. Our attack can apply to other MQ signature scheme, and we propose a simple countermeasure against uh, First, first order CPA. We will about more efficient countermeasures and about security analysis against the high order and fault injection attacks. That's it. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you very much for that presentation. Um, so we have time for a few questions, if there are any from the audience. I had a short question on the countermeasure. Um, you, whoops, killing the chairs up here. Sorry. Uh, on the countermeasure you had there, what sort of performance overhead? Overhead? Yeah. Was it compared to the unprotected? Even roughly as a. Yes, we only calculated multiplication uh, or uh, two times and multiple field multiplication and one inverse, uh, one inversion, field inversion. Okay. Right, thank you. If there's no other questions. I guess we'll thank the speaker again for this wonderful presentation. Um, so we are now on break until 10.50. Um, there's coffee break. There's the poster session in the back. So these are new posters, I believe. So please go check those out um, and be back at 10.50 for session nine post-quantum cryptography 2.